Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick split test comparison of the newly launched POCO F7 and we also have the OnePlus Nord 4. So these are two devices uh, which are around the same price segment but now the OnePlus Nord 4 is priced lesser and the OnePlus Nord 5 is coming uh, for launch in sometime in July. But right now, these are two devices around the 30,000 price segment and uh, both have really great hardware. We have LPDDR5X RAM, we have UFS 4.1 storage or other 4.0 on the Nord 4 and 4.1 on the Poco F7 and we have the Snapdragon 8 as Gen 4 here on the Poco F7 while this is the Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 3 both are really powerful but obviously the Snapdragon 8 as uh, Gen 4 is more powerful let's start the speed test comparison so let's just uh, clear off all the background apps on both the devices so there you go let's also check uh, the about device uh, on these two devices so about phone so here you can see a POCO S7, uh, this uh, detailed uh, specs. Snapdragon 8 is Gen 4 mobile platform, both have 12 gigabyte RAM and uh, both have Android 15. Here we have uh, the uh, Hyper OS 2.0, here we have Oxygen OS 15. So that's the hardware and uh, specification of these two devices. So let's start the speed test. So both are quite uh, similar in terms of hardware experience. So let's just uh, start the speed test. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So before that, let's also check uh, the network connections. So both are connected to the same network. Both are in airplane mode. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So Poco opened it uh, slightly faster, not by a huge margin though. So next uh, is uh, BGMI. So we have enabled the game mode as well as uh, uh, the performance mode on both the phones. So once again, Poco has taken the lead here. So Poco has opened it faster. So both the games, uh, Poco has uh, faster opening time. Next is the Play Store. Here you can see here, uh, OnePlus is faster. Chrome browser, again uh, OnePlus is faster, Facebook, Poco is slightly faster, Twitter, again OnePlus is faster here, Instagram, Poco is or rather OnePlus is faster, Spotify, again uh, OnePlus is faster, here probably almost same time, Flipkart, Poco is faster, File Manager, OnePlus is faster, settings, OnePlus is faster, YouTube, uh, Poco was slightly faster but not by a huge margin, uh, Gmail, Poco is faster, camera, exact same time and maps. So here also exact same time. So you could see here closely fought battle uh, in terms of opening of apps. Both were pretty good in terms of opening of apps. Next let's see the memory management. Let's open the apps in the reverse order and let's see if which all apps are available in the memory and which all are retained or rather which are which all are uh, reloaded so as of now you can see here all the apps are available in the memory so till now nothing is being reloaded bgmi is available on both the devices and finally asphalt unite so you can see here all the apps and games are available in the memory. So memory management on both the devices are really good. So both were able to retain all the apps in the memory. So that was the speed test and also the um, uh, memory management. Let's see the uh, network test. So both are connected to the same server. Let's start with uh, POCO F7. So again, uh, very similar results, nothing much to differentiate. Let's go to the synthetic benchmark. So here you will definitely see a big difference. 20 lakh versus 11 lakh, almost double the value. So these are two different uh, uh, series chip. One is the 8 uh, series, one is the 7 series. Obviously you will have, you can see here CPU score is almost double. Even the GPU score is also double. Even memory score is almost double. So everything is uh, exactly the double value when you compare with uh, uh, the OnePlus uh, Nord 4. But Nord 5 is uh, coming soon. So we will be comparing Nord 5 and the Poco X7 soon. So wait for that. So right now you can see here both are uh, uh, completely different or different category uh, 20 lakh versus 11 lakh 
Next, let's see the storage test. So here both are uh, uh, UFS uh, 4.0 above. This is UFS 4.0 while this is UFS 4.1. So you can see here 2,53,000 versus 1,55,000. You can see that the random access uh, is way higher on the uh, POCO compared to the OnePlus uh, Nord 4. But both are pretty much uh, similar in terms of hardware offered. And finally, the Geekbench test. So we have performed the Geekbench. Uh, let's uh, show you the results. You can see here 2057 versus 1880 and 6500 is a multi-core. Here we have 4886 is the multi-core. So once again, POCO wins in the benchmark. So that was the speed test comparison of these two devices. So both are really powerful devices. Uh, uh, the Oxygen OS uh, and uh, the Hyper OS are also pretty much optimized, pretty good memory management. So this was the speed test comparison of the OnePlus Nord 4 with the POCO F7. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.